So what you're going to do is you're going to start with a clean base pocket page, nothing on the back. The spine is this side, so the top. So get your pocket page out. You are going to cut a piece of, of cardstock eight tall by seven inches wide. And you are going to score it the seven inch side on top, you're going to score it at a half an inch. So score that, fold it, burnish it, and you know, go ahead and miter your corners. I'm gonna do that shortly. So that is the bottom left flap. Then you are going to make a top left fat flap, eight inches tall, by six and a quarter inch wide. You'll put it in at the six and a quarter inch on top and score it at a half an inch. Fold that, burnish it, and then go ahead and miter the corners. And if you're gonna use tape, go ahead and put tape on those half inch pieces. So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to get that bottom left flap. Excuse me, I just was choking on something. <laughs> get that bottom left flap and you are going to adhere it to that spine edge right there. And make sure it's lined up, you know, top to bottom. These should be even with each other here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go ahead and pull your tape or put your glue in and I'll be right back. Next, you are going to pull this piece of paper from um, the eight by eight patterns, and you are going to be affixing this on this flap. So make sure you have the, this little gold part up here, this kind of shimmery part up here, and put this on the left upper side right here, and then you're just going to trim it to fit about, um, one sixteenth or so of a, a border, but so it's going to be kind of like that, the way I have it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this to size and be right back and adhere this down. So I'm going to um, get get my score tape and I am going to be adhering this piece down and then I'll be right back. So once you have your paper down, you are going to measure three eighths of an inch in from the black edge, not from the paper, from the black edge. So I measured three eighths of an inch in from the black edge, and then I just drew a line. This top left flap you are going to be adhering this to that three eighths of an inch edge like that. So just follow that line and adhere that down. Make sure your paper is squared on the top and the bottom. Um, they sh they're, they're both eight inches tall, so they should be squared away. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna attach this top flap. And what you want is Basically, you have the same amount of that blue underlying paper being revealed on both sides. So go ahead and get that flap in. So that paper is in, so it should look like that. So you have um, that flap and then this top flap. So you have your edging here. Now, you are, we are going to cover this top flap with this piece of paper. This is from the 12 by 12 core, so it's cut from here. This is the back side. So this is cut from the top. So this cranberry edging right here, all the way to this little like rope type element here, to the rope element here. And then it is basically, mine is 
five and a half plus one sixteenth wide. And this should be seven and seven eighths. Yeah, this is seven and seven eighths because this is um, an eight inch flap. You want to trim off from the top. Do not trim off from the bottom because you want to keep that rope edging all the way around here. So this piece is going to be going down like this. But we are going to be, where are we adding our magnet? We are going to be adding a magnet under here. So I am not going to be um, at fixing that down yet. What we're going to do, I cut a, a, a black cardstock. This is like 80, 85 pounds. I want it a little bit stronger. And it is basically, I, I'm using this cutoff when we cut this page right here. This is the cutoff. So we're going to be using this cutoff that you cut off when you trim this page. We're going to be using that to make a closure, a flap closure that is going to be wrapping around this part and then going around and we're going to be affixing it inside the pocket page. So I just have to figure out where I'm going to be putting it. So I'm going to get those measurements and I will be right back with you. Okay, got it figured out. So you're going to cut a piece of black cardstock. I'm using the 80, 85 pound. You're gonna cut it four inches long by one and three quarter inches wide, round the edges here. I used, I think I used my small setting on my corner rounder. Oh, I didn't tell you where to score it. <laughs> so you're gonna put it in with the four inch side up and you're gonna score it at two and three eighths. So score it, can't see. You're going to go ahead and score it at two and three eighths. Two and three eighths, two and three eighths. Fold that, so two and three eighths. Um, and what it's going to look like, you're going to put it in into the pocket page here. And you are going to put it three inches up from the bottom, about three inches up from the bottom. So let me get that in there. So that's about three inches. And it's gonna go like that. So I marked where it's going on my base page like that. And then this piece of paper, I just rounded the corners here. This is going to go here and I'm going to cut it to size here. And I will be applying the magnet under here and then it will go onto this this flap this flap so i'm going to go ahead and get that in now that i know where to put it and i'll be right back so i have my little flap um, with the designer paper so you're going to go to the base pocket you got this much real estate here you're going to slip that under here apply some glue i'm just going to use glue and then just adhere it down like that. So once that's in place, then we can go ahead and put some magnets in. So go ahead and get that adhered down. So I got my magnet over here, put that in, and it's about a half an inch in from the top center. And then I just transferred it over to that side and put that down. So I'm going to take this tape off and put my black construction tape over it. 
and then we can apply our paper. Okay, that looks good. Now you can apply this paper and just get that centered side to side, top to bottom, and it should look something like that once you get it in. We still have to do something with here. in here. We're gonna be putting a pocket in here. So that page is down. I think it's so beautiful. So you still have a little bit of this left. Go to where the gold is and go ahead and cut that to size and then get this inner side of the, the, um, the little flap um, matted. And that's what I'm gonna do. So this is what we have so far. So we are going to open up this first flap and I might put a little pole there, a little ribbon pole. You're gonna need a little ribbon pole here too. I have to see if I'm gonna do that. Be a tiny little ribbon pole. Let's see, something like this, would that work? Maybe not that color, but I just don't want it to interfere with the magnet. But first, what we're going to do you're going to get this from the 8x8 collection, and you are going to cut this piece out right here. Just follow the line straight down. And we are going to make a tuck spot right in through here, like a mini pocket over on this side. That will cover up this edge. So go ahead and do that. So I cut my piece to size. It's 7 and 7 eighths inches tall. Uh, I'm not telling you this all the time, but always ink your edges. I just automatically do it, so just make sure you ink your edges. This is going to fit here, but there's this little lip. So once again, I am going to be cutting, I'm putting in my black score tape to, and I have to put my head down because I gotta get edge to edge. But I'm going to be putting that down so I don't get anything caught in that, that lip. You can use scotch tape too, but I'm going to be using my black construction tape. So I'm going to put that down and then add um, just glue on the ends here, here, and here. So that piece is in. It doesn't hang up at all because of that construction tape. So this is the, the piece you have left. Now you can either use this side. I think it's a little too busy, but it's very beautiful. And I thought, could I use it over on this side? Not big enough. This is going to have a pocket. That'd be too busy. So no, what we're going to do is we are going to ink this we are going to trim it off a little bit on the side here. So we're gonna trim it to size, take a little bit off the top. This is gonna be seven and seven eighths, just like these. Trim it off on the side, and that is gonna go down on this, this side of the flap. So remember, we're on, do I need, I need, my, need a ribbon here. So I'm just gonna cut it and then um, figure out if I'm gonna put a ribbon in there next. So I think I'm going to put these this this ribbon ribbon pole there. This is a quarter inch um, gold ribbon. I believe it's from Joann's. Maybe, maybe Michael's, but I think this is Joann's and it's just called golden. But because we're going to have one pole here and then this one is going to pull two. So I put them there, they're gonna be staggered and it clears the magnet. So I'm gonna get those straight and put those on. So I have my ribbon poles in. 
So I can go ahead and pull this one open. I put my black construction tape. I used my double-sided tape and then covered it with the black construction tape to smooth everything out. And now this page has been inked and it's ready to be placed in here. So this page, this paper is going in next. So I wanted to come in and do this little insert video because um, the process video, I kind of, it, was, it wasn't as good as I wanted it. So I want to explain something. I'm still going to be putting in that process video for this next step, but I want to give you a heads up on what's going to be coming. So what you're going to be doing, you are going to be cutting a piece of black cardstock eight inches by two inches wide preferably 80, 85 pound if you have it. We've already done this. We put in our tabs. We've done this, this flap and this page. And then we're turning this over and work, working on this inside part right here. So this we've already done. We haven't put this paper in yet and we haven't put in this little pocket. This little pocket is an unscored pocket. It's going to be fitting in here and you're just going to be adhering it on three sides with a, a bead of glue or your one-eighth of an inch score tape all around. You're not going to be adhering that down yet. First I want to build, put the designer paper on this. This designer paper, this one, is from the 8x8 collection. You are going to be cutting a piece that is one and a half inches wide. One and a half inches wide and seven and seven eighths inches tall. That is going to be here. You are not going to be adhering that down yet because you are going to be finding this strip and I will show you where to get it in the video that follows this, the, process, the original process video. This piece is going to be adhered like this. So you have some of that cranberry from this piece in between this trim and your this designer paper. Make sure I get this, yeah, in the right direction. Make sure you put this in the right direction. You can see the flowers. So it's going to be sitting like this, like that, just right over that, that edge of that cranberry. You are not going to be adhering this down yet. You're just going to build this piece up. So you're going to build, put the designer paper on that unscored pocket. So it's going to be looking like that. And I will show you this in the next video. And then this, these two pieces will be adhered down and this one will Go under the pocket here, and then I'm going to be putting this pocket piece on top of this designer page, like this. So I just wanted to come on and insert this so you can kind of see what I was doing on the next part of the, the video to make um, the tutorial to make this page one. So I'm going through my scraps. So we got this, we just need to do this little um, pocket here, which is going to be, I believe this is a two inch pocket. Yeah, two inches. And this is a cutoff when we made this page. So when we're making all of this, this is a cutoff from this, this piece. So keep all your cutoffs because I'm trying to utilize all of those scraps. So this is going to go on this two inch pocket, but obviously we need some more, more paper. So what we're going to do, where did I just put it? Here it is. Oh my gosh. So this page from the 12 by 12 collection, there's going to be this strip right here. 
So go ahead and cut this strip off right here. Start from the gold and cut it all the way down. We're probably gonna trim some of this off, um, but you'll see what we're gonna do. So go ahead and cut that off. So I cut that off and this is going to be seven and seven eighths inches tall. Um, what, what I think I'm going to do is cut this, probably have to hand cut it because I can't do that in the trimmer. I'm going to hand cut this off just till I get to the end of the gold. So about right there. So that is what I'm going to do because I'm going to have it lined up kind of like this. I guess I could, don't have to cut it. I could just um, adhere this to here like this. That would be much easier. That would be much, much easier. So I want it that way. Yeah, it has to be that way because if I do it this way, then I lose the, yeah. Because I was hoping to have some black, but hey, I'm going to go ahead and fix this. I like that, so it's going to this, and then put this on top so it covers this little pocket. And it's going to be that little bit of burgundy in between is going to be like that. How's that? So it's going to be like that. So that's what I'm going to do. So here's my two inch strip. I think that looks really pretty. So this is going to be going here. This is going to be going here. I wanted that because it looks really nice with the front cover like that. So I wanted that pop of red there. So that is going to go there. That is going to be our little pocket. Now, This is from the 12 by 12. Here's the back side. Now this is going to, this is the same, basically the same width as this. So I wanted these to kind of be balanced to each other. So this is going to go here, only it's not going to be a tuck spot. And this is going to be going underneath this pocket. going to go here. We're going to cut it once it comes to the fold and then continue it down and then this will be something like this over here. So I think you can't see the whole thing but it's going to be something like that starting from there to here. So I'm going to get this um, situated correctly and then I'm going to be cutting this. Get this. I'm gonna, it's going to be seven and seven eighths inches tall and then I'm going to cut it uh, right before the fold line. Give it some space for that fold and then continue it after that fold line. So seven and seven inches tall. Just cut it straight. straight. So I haven't inked the edges, but everything's been cut. So I'm laying it out. This is how it's going to look. I still need, like I said, inking the edges, tearing this down, making sure I have enough room. And here, and then I'm going to be applying this. After I get this down, I might put some black construction tape so this is nice and smooth, and then put this down by just gluing it on the three edges. That way everything, make sure it fits, everything can go in and out of that pocket and not get hung up there. So I'm going to ink everything and get everything, put my tape on and get it down. I just wanted to, to show you, those of you that um, are afraid of using tape, I just like tape because there's never any curling. It's nice. I don't know. I just like tape. I just like tape. 
and you can undo it if you make a mistake. But what I usually do is I'll, I'll use 3 8 or a half an inch tape and make a frame all the way around the paper. Um, put some strips on the sides here. This is just a quarter inch. And then I use this small 1 8 of an inch strip. Burnish everything down. And what I do with that, I just pull the 1 8 of an inch strip down and I kind of line it all up to where I think I want it. And if it looks good, I forgot which way my 1 8 of an inch strip goes, I get that down. Now it's stable, so all I have to do is lift up and pull the rest of the pieces of tape. And I've, since I've been doing that, I've never had problems. So that's just a, a little trick if you, if you haven't done that before.